What's going on guys? So before the video starts, um just wanna let you know that there are a lot of skipped parts and there are a bunch of things I didn't record because this project took longer than I expected. Um it took a while for the parts to get here. Uh there were some issues getting some parts off the car, on the car, and I didn't have a lot of time to record everything, so I mean, this project took a really long time, so I just want to let you guys know about that. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. What is going on, you guys? My name is Alex, and welcome to the video. And in today's video, we're going to be installing the front suspension on my 65 Mustang. Now, if you remember the last video I posted, we, we did the rear suspension, and now we're going to do the front suspension. I had to wait a few weeks for the front suspension to come in, and I finally got it just a few days ago. So now I have the entire front suspension kit all in these boxes. I know it's a little bit of a mess right now, but bear with me. So we got some lower control arms, upper control arms, QA1 coilovers, the sway bar, and a couple other stuff was built by Global West Suspension. So without further ado, let's get started. So I got the front suspension off. Uh, some parts were not easy to take off, especially the, um, the passenger side upper control arm. That was pretty tough to get off, so... Now that everything's off, we're gonna put the new suspension back on. All right, so I went ahead and got both the upper and lower control arms in. I didn't get the shock fully in yet. I'm still working on the um, the upper mounts. I still gotta modify the holes right here so I can get the bolts to fit. And while I was doing that, I also got myself new wheel one master cylinder and as well as a new front disc brake kit from also from real wood now the reason why i wanted one is because i got this one off of um ebay and at the time it was cheap and i didn't have a lot of money and already within a year as you can see it's starting to look like it's been on here for like 20 years with that i also got this brake booster which, if you haven't seen uh, my TikToks, I asked you guys if I should keep it or get rid of it. I think I am finally made my decision that I want to get rid of this. I'm just going to leave it off for now, just to see how the brakes feel. The reason is because I don't like the way the brakes feel. You know, it feels weak when I step on the brakes. I've been bleeding these brakes multiple times, and it still feels the same. That's why I'm wondering if I get an a better one so I'm hoping if I hoping with this new wheel wood it would make the brakes better and plus I've had multiple problems with the brakes with the brake fluid leaking all the time and you know and plus uh, this clutch cable is sitting on top of the booster so every time I step on the clutch you know this thing moves i just wanted to see how everything looks and it looks pretty good so far yeah so we're just one step closer to complete all right now that i got the car back on the ground uh you may notice that i do have uh different wheels on it well technically it's the same one it's just these are 17s they're uh, american racing so uh, the reason I got them is because I thought I was going to get away with the wheels I have for the Wilwood brakes, but unfortunately, I thought I had 15s in the front. I thought I had 15s all around, but I actually had 15s in the rear and 14s in the front. So the wheels in the front were going to be too small for the um, the Wilwood brakes. So yeah, I've been playing around with the ride height a little bit. Uh, Want to make sure I had it at the right right height uh, I may play around with it a little bit more but right now it's um right now it's at a pretty good height and that's pretty much it now I just gotta bleed the brakes and do a couple other small things and that's it all right now everything is done now of course I gotta get it aligned now I will be making a future video on how the car drives the new front suspension brakes etc so yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything is now done 
And so that'll do it for this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.